Welcome to lesson 5. In this lesson, we will focus on using select queries with a variety of aggregate functions and also creating and querying a view. Let's begin by adding an additional order item to order ID 1. To do this, expand the tables folder and right click on the order items table. Then select edit top 200 rows. Add a new order item as shown in the lesson guide. Notice how order ID 1 has two separate order items, product ID 1 and product ID 2. Therefore, let's write a select query to return a product count for each order. To do this, open a new query window and enter the SQL statement as shown in the lesson guide. Notice in this query how we are doing a join between the customers, orders and order items table. What we are saying is return me all the customers where the customer ID exists in the customers and orders tables and where the order ID exists in the orders and order items tables. We are also using the count function in conjunction with group by. We are saying return the customer ID and order ID for each customer and count how many times each order ID appears in the order items table. Finally, we are declaring a field alias to give the count column a meaningful name. If you haven't already done so, press execute to see how order ID 1 now has a product count of 2. Let's now expand the query to also return the total cost of each order. Add the additional syntax after product count as shown in the lesson guide. Here we are using the sum function with an asterisk to multiply the unit price by the quantity. Let's now modify the select query to return the total spend by each customer. To do this, alter the syntax as shown in the lesson guide. The difference between this and the previous query is that we are doing a group by on just customer fields and not by order ID. Therefore, the sum returns a total by customer. Let's now write a select query to return customers who have yet to place an order. To do this, modify the query as shown in the lesson guide. Notice how in this query we are doing a left join between the customers and orders table, unlike the previous queries where we did a join, also known as an inner join. By using the left join, we are saying show me all the records in the customers table and those from the orders table where there is a matching customer ID. Furthermore, we are using a where clause in conjunction with an is null to say only return the customers where the customer ID does not exist in the orders table. 